there's an idea, I think, that some people say that, uh, that Jeet Kune Do is just taking the best of all these different martial arts and putting it together. Uh, then there's other people that say you can only do what Bruce Lee did. I think really both approaches are wrong. What we try to do is to teach the basic foundation, the function of, of Jeet Kune Do. This is what it is. And then you can look at other things and say, you know, I like that elbow technique. As long as it fits within that structure and it adds something to it that's maybe lacking in you, then you can go ahead and add it, but it's your personal martial art. It's not, we don't call that Jeet Kune Do. If we pick up an elbow from Thai boxing, we don't call it Jeet Kune Do, we call it Thai boxing. What we try to do, and Bob tried to do in uh, my little, our little backyard deal, is get the base, the foundation of JKD, and then once you have that, you can add things onto it. I see too many people that have, traveling around different places, I see too many people that have this and this and this and this and this, but they don't have any foundation. They've got a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And when it, the crap hits the fan, you've got to have something that comes out of you that's natural and automatic. And that's what we try to do with the base, the foundation of JKD. The idea of JKD really is limiting the number of tools. We didn't teach you 20 different ways to punch or 50 different ways to kick. The idea is to be able to have knockout power with a few tools that you can use in almost any circumstance, at any distance. Uh, always practice different rhythms, different distance, but the main idea is power. Learn to reach over and knock them out. The whole point of JKD, I feel, is, is lost if you don't really have the power. And the problem is, I think, is when you're trying to do too much, it's daily decrease. Be able to use your lead hand punch, that's the most important punch in JKD. A few punches, a few kicks done well is better than having 50 million things that's only done halfway. We don't believe it that you can master Jeet Kune Do. Because if you look at a, at, a, at a system or a style, there will be so many techniques that you learn, you see. Um, and then once you've achieved learning those techniques, then you consider yourself that you've mastered those techniques. Jeet Kune Do is taught differently. The philosophy is different. There's a, there's a thing we do called the hammer principle, where if somebody is, is attacking you and you're picking up their preparation so you can intercept their attack, the better what you do is when you're working with that person, you try to get rid of all of his preparation. And so then you learn to just, then when he attacks you, you learn to attack on his intention. Well, see, the point of it is, the better he gets, the better you get. So there's no way I can ever master that because I make him better. I have to keep struggling. So you're always learning. Bruce Lee said when you become a master, the lid on the coffin is starting to close. So that there, there's always room, we believe there's always room for learning. You can always learn. And I think sometimes if, you, if you're a master of something, you can have a you can still have an open mind because there's some really great masters out there. For example, Wally J is a I consider Wally J a friend of mine. And Wally J is a master, but Wally J is still learning, you see. So if you're a master that's still learning, then that then you can be a master. But if you're a master that has stopped learning, then I don't feel I feel that the lid of the coffin is starting to close. Because you can always learn. Everybody needs to just understand that nobody has the truth. There's nobody, everybody just has a piece of the truth. And like Bruce said, the truth is always outside of all fixed patterns. So no matter who you are, there's somebody you can learn from.